How's it going YouTube? This is TalkF bringing you another video and in today's video as you can see in front of us we have the newly released 2DS XL, excuse me, new 2DS XL. It has the same hardware that the new 3DS has so it's extra snappy, really powerful, really nice. I love the colors here but this is not the reason why I'm making this video today. It's part of the reason though. The real reason for this video is this grip that I ordered online on Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description so you guys can check it out. I, I haven't opened it yet, I haven't tried it out. As you can see, good old uh, Amazon delivery right there. It's made in China, of course, a lot of these things are, but it's a plastic grip that's going to add more comfortable controller-like handles to the new 2DS XL, which is what I really like. Also, as you can see there on the side, it also has a kickstand under it as well. Let's see in the back, it's made of high strength ABS material. No idea what that is. 80 grams, listen to music anywhere. Comfortable, fashion, perfect, convenient. I like how they put listen to music anywhere. Like if you can't do that without this grip, it's pretty hilarious. Uh, attention, please use dry cloth to clean it. Do not keep or use the product in damp environment for a long time. Do not use chemical solvents, blah, blah, blah. And you have to be seven years old to use this for some reason. All right, there's the front of the box. Nothing special there. Your typical packaging. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, lots of plastic in here. All right, there's the grip. Wow, it's bigger than I thought. <laughs> I guess this is for an XL. I just wasn't expecting it to be that big, but that's perfectly fine for me. I got these big gorilla hand so nothing else in the box so we can set that aside for now let's go ahead and take this out of the plastic and there it is all right nothing too special here's the little kickstand in the back <clears throat> oh nice it's pretty solid so when you kick it out it stays there it doesn't flap back and forth uh, it jiggles a little bit but not nothing too nothing too stressful there <clears throat> all right so Let's go ahead and put it on the system and see how that feels. All right, so uh, I'm guessing it just kind of pops in there. Huh, yeah, that's it. Let's see if it, if it passes the upside down test. All right, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, when I put it in, it didn't, I didn't hear like any snap or anything. It felt a little loose, so that was a little scared that it might fall right out, but I mean, it fits well. It's pretty snug. It doesn't move back and forth too much. My apologies for the reflection of the light there. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's the one thing about the new 2DS top screen. It's very, very reflective. But anyways, yeah, it feels really good. I mean, it really feels like I'm holding a PS3 or something like that controller. It actually does kind of feel like a PS3 controller, to be honest with you. Uh, this is a little skinnier, though, I think. So... But you do get that PS3 feel, but everything feels good. On the back, as you can see, you still have access to your cameras. All right, let's try that kickstand out and see how that works. Very nice. Check that out. I guess if you don't want to watch your, your Netflix like this, you can watch your Netflix like this with a little kickstand. Okay. Don't know if I'm really going to realistically use that much, but I mean, there it is in case I need it for whatever reason. It cost, uh, I think it was $7, something like that. Not too bad. Seven bucks for a piece of plastic. You know, it is what it is. It's not bad. Uh, as far as I know, you can only order these on Amazon. I haven't seen it at any GameStops or any of the Best Buy or anything like that in my area. But it looks great. The colors go perfectly with the new 2DS XL. It looks really, really, really nice. I'm very happy with this. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and play some 2DS games. This is TalkF signing off. If you like the video, please drop it a like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, have a nice day. Game on! All right, so there's one more thing I wanted to add. I didn't realize it when I was first messing around with this, this new grip that I bought. But if you look at the bottom of the grip... There is no opening for the game cartridge. So every time you want to change a game cartridge from the bottom flap here, you have to take out the entire system from the grip in order to do that. All right. And I mean, that wouldn't be a huge deal. But the thing is, when you put this grip on, 
it is pretty tight. I had to like put a little pressure on the side and open it up a little bit. I There may be a better way of doing it. I, I don't know as of right now. But yeah, it, it took a little pressure to get it out. So you have to do that every single time you want to change a cartridge. And if you're like me, you have a ton of games and you want to change your cartridge all the time. All right. But for now, I'm going to put in my copy of Lego City Undercover The Chase Begins. Just bought this for 10 bucks. Put it in there. And then we put the grip on. All right. Now we're ready to game. All right. And when you take it off, this is where I had trouble. I mean, there's no like, I had to do that with my fingernail to pop it out. All right. So just a little thing. I mean, it's probably not a huge deal, especially if you're more into the digital games. But other than that, haven't had any issues so far. All right. So definitely check this out at the link below. See you next time. Peace.